Juki got the sauce for it. Just before we start, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor to this video, which is a mobile game called Raid Shadow Legends. For anybody that's unaware, I used to fully nerd out on this gaming thing so I can 100% relate. And it's mad because I was on the phone to my friend the other day saying I would love to get back into gaming. You know, it's something that I grew up doing and I used to do all nighters, like, you know what I mean? Completing storylines, online gaming and... Yeah, I used to just really be about this gaming thing. So it was funny, all of a sudden I got this email. But anyway, back to Raid. This is one of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019 and will change everything you know about mobile games. Without fail, one of the most immersive smartphone experiences and can only really be compared with PC and console titles. It has all the features you'd expect with a brand new RPG title. You get an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. And the best part is, it's totally free. But guys, look at how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. This is mad, like the way you can zoom in, the quality is maintained, and it just goes to show you how far mobile games have come because once upon a time, this was PC quality. This is stuff you could only get on consoles. And you know, my phone's still smooth. It's not overheating or lagging or anything. Raid is getting big real fast. So guys, get in early. Starting now will give you a huge head start. And remember, there's also an upcoming special launch tournament with crazy prizes to win. Full details will be in the description below. If you do download Raid using my dedicated link, you will immediately receive 50,000 silver and a brand new Epic Champion, which is part of the new player program, courtesy of the dev team. So I will now put you into the video. Yes, Tom, you all right? Hi, Ricky, how you doing? Welcome to Living Good Life Fast. You. Nice to finally meet you, man. Nice to be here, yeah. yeah. Focus ST. It is indeed. Quite a lot going on in there, isn't it? Yeah, there? not really an ST anymore. Took out of the showroom and decided what I wanted to do with it, and I'm almost there, really. So do you want to start with the exterior? Yeah, so exterior, you can see, um, I went for a little bit of a wider arch look. Uh, got the SS tuning kit all round. Went with the work wheels, um, the 9J at the moment. Uh, things will be happening later this year that will be going wider. Mm -hmm. um, but very happy with the SS tuning kit. Right. Uh, I've been wrapped by Fresh Customs. Yeah. Um, they're one of my sponsors as well. Uh, really happy with the design. I helped design it and uh, it's just really getting the sponsors on the car, making getting a bit of expo for it. So Satin Matt, black and the gloss white all round. Yeah. Um, I will be going for a full colour change I think later on in the year, but uh, really happy with how this came out. Mm. They also, they also wrapped my brake calipers, which is one of my favourite little things because they're yeah. highly reflective and uh, look like the, great, the brakes are kind of glowing. Right, red, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, got kind of carbon wrapped roof, got carbon mirrors, uh, canards, little accents here and there. Um, got a full Cobra exhaust as well. Uh, just turbo back three and a half inch and yeah I've got some serious engine mods as well haven't you? yeah yeah so I have just a show car no 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 so it's uh, it's a Garrett 3071 R upgrade um, running methanol injection uh, it's also forged by uh, Devil Developments down near Southampton right so. and um, and yeah they the whole engine is I'd like to say bulletproof nothing is these days but uh, mm. it works very well and uh, really um, I mean I'll, I'll open up I had a had an engine blow and right. 7,000 miles in, uh, it was completely stock, and to me that was just an opportunity to take it big power. Was that with the Garrett on it? That wasn't, no. Okay. No. Stock um, turbo? Stock turbo, yeah. Tuned? Uh, lightly. Lightly. Blue? Uh, blue fin. No, sorry, it blew up, you said? Yeah, yeah, blew up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a defective piston um, the Ford actually found. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't covered by warranty, but that wasn't a problem because I needed to go and get a bigger turbo and so did take you have us to the next supply level. your own engine? Yeah. Wow, just like that. Yeah. Man. And, How much did an engine cost you? Four and a half grand. Yeah, four and a half grand plus the uh, plus the turbo and all the rest. I mean, yeah. Luckily, I'm single, so it was all right. <laughs> I've got full bolt-ons as well, ranging from a kind of a large forge intercooler radiator through to an induction kit as well. Um, I've got an oil catch can, various other little mods, uh, sport shift, quick shift. Uh, it's also a decatted car as well. Right. Um, meth injected as well? Meth injection, yeah, that's a direct import uh, injection system. Uh, the tank is strapped, strapped to the back seats, which is quite nice. Um, but uh, yeah, 
It's a poppy and bangy car. Uh, sorry, the software is by who again? So the software, use? yeah, I, this is what I want to talk about. Um, you'll see it when we get in. There's, I've got an access port by Cobb. Um, it's uh, mapped by Stratified Auto Automotive. Uh, they're based in the States. And what they do is they send me a map through. Which um, works over the Cobb thing. Works yeah. over the Cobb access port, loads directly into the ECU. And then from that, really, we get a lot of data sent back. They walk me through kind of the different changes that I might want. Right, so you uh, did some data logging, basically. Yeah, 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 data logging. But then also the way that they have it is that I've, I'm sponsored by them and the relationship with them is that they'll send me graphs and various bits of information that kind of push me to be a bit of a tuner as well. Right. Um, most people would say that it's not good, you know, tuning off of a dyno, but actually I've had no, no issues with these guys. No, you tune off a dyno, that's what yeah. done with my e car. Exactly, and, uh, and if, it, if it's done by the right people, then it works like a dream, like yeah. this does. So what is the actual uh, horsepower figure? So the output at the moment is 430 to the wheels, right. uh, which is about 475 to the crank. Wow. Um, but it is only front wheel drive, which is a, is an issue. <laughs> yeah, so I suppose for traction, uh, yeah, first, second, maybe into third, but it's I a suppose difficult. a rolling run, that's when you get the power. Rolling run's great, and it's a slow spooling turbo, which is my own decision, just because mm. it's a bit of fun, actually. I like the build-up of, of a slow spooling turbo, and the new right. Gen 2 does put the power down quite well. Manual gearbox? Yep, manual gearbox, yeah. six-speed. Yeah. Uh, got, got the quick shift on it. Right. Um, that works really mm. nice. It's mount tune quick shift. I've got an uprated uprated um, clutch and flywheel as well that's out of the RS the new RS yeah. probably needing to change it but I did have a paddle clutch before and they're just too tricky to drive in the UK all right what about suspension so suspension uh, I've got STX coilovers at the moment um, I am planning to go with a company called hybrid air later on this year which is a combination of keeping coilovers with air ride um, need more lows but at so the same time I don't know if I really am. I mean, I've got four degree camber, but I don't want to go any further. But um, I, I love I love a low car just for the aesthetics of it, um, but also the handling when you go on track and take it around, just around some nippy corners. But the issue that I've got with this is uh, driving it around London. You've got to get over the speed bumps. Right. So let's not forget the most important mods, <laughs> which is in the boot, right? Right, come with me. <laughs> so this is a Henry Harwood custom built box, sub, and enclosure. Right. And this is a five sub. Oh wow. 18 inch. You've got the B2 amps, you've got the quattro for the quattro for the speakers and the mono for the 18 inch sub itself. The entire thing is made on magnets, so you can pop it all off and remove it onto the back runners uh, on the back seats and still have access to the spare wheel, which is pretty important when you go through rubber like I do. It's a little bit of an added weight, which a lot of people th are against. You know, when you've got a performance car, people think you should be stripping it out, but- How much weight does it add? It's my car, 73 kilos. 73 kilos. So it's a bit of weight, that is. A bit of me on the back, yeah. But <laughs> if anything, it keeps the back down so I can kind of slide it when I want to a bit. Okay, shall we get out, take a press spin? Let's go. Let's do this. Right, I don't know if the cooling's right. 
right, yeah. I can switch it to an older, safer map if I want to reduce okay. the power, get home cool. safely kind of thing. Um, also can do launch control from it, I can time my 0 to 60s, 0 to 100s, everything like that. Um, and that's fully run by Stratified, but it's a COB access port. Right. And he's expensive? Uh, it's about £500. So COB's a platform that other users can basically tune yeah. in, yeah? Yeah, so COB, Cob do maps for this car, yeah. uh, various stages. Um, and I think they are quite a widely used platform in the state. Is it boost limited or anything like that? It's not limited, um, but I mean, at the moment, I, I, I'm actually thinking of opening up the, the map a bit more. Mm. Be speaking to the tuners, and we reckon we can get a healthy 480 out of it to the wheels, but I may well need to just upgrade the fuel pump. But yeah, the turbo is not being used to its full potential at all. Um, it can boost up to 36 psi, and at the moment, I'm doing to about 29 30. Yeah, 
yeah, so later this year, um, it's becoming my kind of company show car at the moment. Um, got Fortune Flares, big company in the States, providing me with some killer arches. It's going to take it about a foot wider. Um, it's going to be naughty. Yeah, anyone that hasn't driven a Ford, I know a lot of people are put off by the interiors, like, uh, but the drive on them, man, they're really, really cool cars to drive. Comfy. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. Um, and they're just different, like, you know, if you're drive a lot of German cars like I have and jumping into something like this is really refreshing man